because we've encountered this. So, so it's not like urban legend. Like there are problems with electrical systems at some campgrounds. It's like that old Honda Accord that just does the work, but it's not fancy. It's kind of boring. So you just got your new RV. You've been saving a lifetime or a long time to get it. You go to a park, you plug it in and boom, there's smoke coming outside from the wiring in your RV. This is a really nightmare situation. So in this video, we're going to tell you how you can avoid that by purchasing an EMS surge protector. We're going to be reviewing two of the most common and popular surge protectors on the market. To the left of me is the Power Watchdog by Hughes Autoformers. And then in my right hand is the tried and true Progressive Industries 50 amp surge protector EMS. All right, so why do you need a surge protector? So I just explained that nightmare scenario to open the video. When you plug into a campground, you don't know who wired the box that's in there, like who they hired. You don't know how old that is, if, there's, if it's wired correctly. There's a, a lot of problems. We've encountered this, so it's not like urban legend. Like there are problems with electrical systems at some campgrounds. Some campgrounds are very old. So you can buy a surge protector like this one, super cheap. This is about 80 bucks or so, and this will protect you against surges at a campground. Now, just keep in mind, we're doing 50 amp right now. These also come in 30 amp, but we have a 50 amp coach, so we'll be doing 50 amp. I'm going to put that to the side. What that one doesn't do, it doesn't protect against low voltage or a variety of other electrical problems that may be out there. So when you buy something like the Progressive or the Power Watchdog, these are both what's called EMS surge protectors. EMS stands for electrical management system. And essentially what it'll do, it will protect, it will monitor pretty much all types of electrical issues you're going to have. So for example, and these both operate pretty much the same way. So this will go, it will protect against uh, reverse polarity, open ground, high voltage, which is defined as anything above 132 volts, low voltage, which is defined as anything below 104 volts. It'll do that for both lines. And then a uh, high frequency, low frequency that has a whole list. So if it senses any of those issues, it will automatically cut off power to your coach. So how this works, this will be plugged into your shore power. Then on the progressive, you have a little door here. You plug in, you see the spider web building. You plug in your 50 amp here. You know, the power has to go from the park through here. It's analyzed. Once this knows that it's good, it will send that power out to your coach. It works the same way with the power watchdog. So to be transparent in this video, this progressive EMS we paid full retail price for. This is $323 on Amazon, but we'll put the links below. Both companies are US-based companies. Neither one of these are made in the US. So th this one's actually made in Mexico. This one is made in China. Now moving on to the Power Watchdog. This one lists for, I believe, $280 on Amazon. So, you know, a little bit of a savings. They both pretty much do the same thing. I showed you the progressive. Let's look a little bit at the Power Watchdog. Now, this one was sent to us by Hughes Autoformers. We didn't pay anything for this, so just uh, so you know. Basically the same thing, all right? They look a little different, but they weigh about the same thing. They're both weatherproof, so they should last you uh, a good amount of time when you're outside. This will go plugged into your power of your campground and then power it travels through the actual unit it is analyzed and then when if it's good it will send it out now this one protects against line one voltage error line two voltage error overcurrent again the definitions are the same for both this one as well as the progressive neutral reverse neutral reverse on both lines missing ground missing neutral at the coach surge protector protection used up what is very cool about this one is that when you plug it in, it immediately starts up, okay? This little uh, pit bull here, whatever they want to call that, will turn white, letting you know that everything is working. Now, if there's some kind of error, this will turn red. Now, just a little bit on the design, you can see on the Progressive EMS, uh, it has like a two finger pull. Now, these things, when they're plugged into shore power, they can get pretty tight. Both weatherproof, this one you would plug in, then the wire comes out, so it's weatherproof that way. This one you plug in, at the bottom. So in my opinion, the Progressive has a little more protection from the weather, although they're both claimed to be weatherproof. What I like about the Power Watchdog is you can monitor everything from an app, and that's pretty cool. It's Bluetooth compatible, it is not Wi-Fi compatible. So essentially what you do, you go into your app store, you download the app, you scan this little the QR code, 
and then you search and it will show up. So when you pull up the app, you can have kind of live monitor how many volts are going in, how many amps you're using. It's not like a crazy thing, but it's kind of cool. You can't do that with this one. Everything on the Progressive is monitored right over here. It just kind of tells you if it's working correctly and volts and stuff like that, but you can't do it remotely. Both of them are constructed with the security, the steel, or aluminum, whatever this is, security ring. These things are expensive, okay? So when you, we would advise that when you plug in, get some uh, cabling and just lock it up. Both of them are similar in size. They are both also available. These are portable ones, right? They're also both available as permanent installation. So you can actually have a version of each one of these that you can install permanently inside your RV if you don't want to risk the theft. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over, plug them in, just show you how they work. They both work great. And then we're just gonna wrap it up where our opinion is. Uh, you know, what we think that you should get out there. All right, so we're gonna use the Power Watchdog. Very simple, first thing you wanna do, go over to your shore power box, make sure the circuit is off, all right? It is off, we're gonna plug it in. It's nice and tight, all right? Then what I'm gonna do just to test out, I'm gonna turn this on. It's gonna run through its test very quickly. You see it turned white. That means it's gonna let power through. Now, I'm gonna shut this off so I don't have a spark display. I know the power is good, I'm then gonna Take my cord from the coach, tap it in, all right? Push it in, turn on, it's good, and it's letting power, I just, when you hear that click, it's letting power through. There's now power going to the coach. Now, I want you to remember how quickly they started sending power to our coach. We are now gonna use the Progressive EMS. Now, we have been using this for over two years, it's worked really, really well, and it's actually saved us a couple of times on trips. So again, we're gonna shut the Breaker off, all right, tap it in. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on and test this. And what you're gonna see is that this is gonna run through a series of tests and it's gonna take, I, I believe it's 134 seconds before it actually is gonna start sending power through. Since we're at home and I know our power is good and we had a professional electrician actually wire this, I'm gonna shut this off for the sake of the video. We are then gonna plug our progressive in and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna keep talking about other things just so you can see how long this actually takes, all right? So I'm gonna turn that on. Once I hear it click on the inside, then we'll know that it's working. So what's the warranty on these things? Well, this is a big thing. The Progressive EMS has a lifetime warranty, which is huge. The Power Watchdog has a three-year warranty. What do we think about both? Listen. Both of them do the job. They're both excellent. They're both American companies. Neither one's made in the USA, shame, but I guess they want to save money somewhere. Our opinion is we really like the lifetime warranty. At the same time, we like a couple of things about the Power Watchdog. Now, what we like about the Power Watchdog is that it has a visual display. Like, that's kind of cool that it lights up with the, the pit bull, the bulldog, whatever it is. Also, it starts sending the power through very quickly, like within five seconds. Finally, I can monitor everything right on my smartphone, my smart device. That's pretty awesome. Now the Progressive EMS does the same job, but it's like, it's like the older one, right? It's like that old Honda Accord that just does the work, but it's not fancy. It's kind of boring. The choice would be yours. Either one would be a great choice. If we had to choose one, I, I'm not quite sure. I, I think I might do the Power Watchdog just because it's a little bit more techy, but at the same time, like we're not getting rid of our Progressive because the Progressive has a lifetime warranty and you know, we, we paid for it. So one other thing that's pretty cool that sets the Power Watchdog apart from the Progressive is that it has a replaceable surge module that goes on the inside. So for whatever reason that Power Watchdog gets eaten up by a surge, it gets ruined, you can actually replace the surge module. The 50 amp is about 39 bucks and it's fully replaceable. There's no soldering involved. It's kind of like a plug and play thing. So although it doesn't have the lifetime warranty, things can be replaced very easy, which you can't do on the Progressive EMS. In the comments below, let us know, do you have a surge protector with EMS? If so, which one do you have and why did you get it? And if you notice, it still hasn't sent power through. Let me just listen to this. Still hasn't sent power through, so it's, it's been a little bit. In the comments below, let us know. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you on the road.